What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to Dungeon Defenders Awakened. It is time, y'all, to take on the Lycan King in Survival Hardcore Rifted on Massacre Mode. Now I gotta say, you gotta take one big first step to beat this fight easy, and here it is, y'all. It's the hardest thing that there is to do. Put away your DSTs. That's right, no DSTs, y'all. DSTs are not the way on the keep, and it is all about the bees, and oh yeah, the dryad is shiny. You see, mine is just barely thrown together. This is all old gear. Uh, or actually, I'm lying. There's two new pieces right here. Uh, however, this is an old piece. That's an old piece. I don't have all the slots equipped. Uh, we're rolling with these stats, so... You know, not terrible, obviously. I had this stuff set up. This was actually my ballista gear, uh, or my harpoon gear for my squire. Now moved over to the glory of the bees. And let's hop on in and get wispy in some Massacre Hardcore Rifted Survival, The Keep, on a Wave 23 start. And here we go. And let me tell you, y'all, I was the first one out there smashing my face against this map over and over and over again using DSTs. And DSTs are just not as good on this map. Now, DSTs are glorious. We all know that. They're great in some situations. However, on the keep, they just do not get the job done in comparison. Now, uh, we are going to go with six wisps right on top on this rail. Uh, we're going to throw down a little buff beam action, so let's go ahead and throw our buff beam in right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit this buff beam. Let's hit it three times, and then we'll hit each one of these wisps once, uh, just to get a little bit more range out of them and let their glory really shine. And then, uh, what next? Well, we still want some auras, you know? We want a fusion and snare aura. We're going to put it right about here. Uh, we're going to go with a Fusion Electric Aura right here as well, and that is going to be hit by the Buff Beam. Or, then again, no it's not. Let's move those back a little bit more if we can. Uh, let's see, let's get them in Buff Beam range. Uh, my Aura is small, y'all. If your Aura is big, you won't have this problem, but mine are apparently tiny. But there we go, we got that right there, and then we are going to get a Gas Trap right up front. Now... We all know about this short lane. This short lane sucks, and when it gets a big meaty ogre, it's just evil, evil stuff. So I am going to just take my regular old buff beamer, it's not even a proper waller here, and just put a little bit of protection in here. So we're going to go with uh, three, yeah, let's just go with a 3DU blocking field right across there. Uh, we're going to protect that blocking field from range mobs with a wonky place reflect beam. And then we're going to throw another Reflect Beam across the core here to protect the core from the range mobs over here. Now this lane is completely finished. We're going to head on over to this side. We're going to grab uh, her Royal Wispiness. And right behind the core, we're going to drop our roots down. Uh, back there hidden, so it's not really going to get smacked by anything. And then up here, we're going to go ahead and start dropping our wisps. We're going to go with six of them once again. Uh, the exact same setup as the other side, basically. So we're going to go six wisps. Um, we're going to get a buff beam on top of them all. Then we're going to throw down some aura stacks and some reflect beams. And then we're going to enjoy the hotness. Now, one of the great things about this build that's just very different from how we've been playing endgame in Dungeon Defenders Awaken, and that is we're gonna be able to play on the Rogue. We got this new shiny hero. We all wanna play him. Well, we're gonna. We don't need a Tower Booster Monk in the mix to make this build happen. So I'm gonna go with an Electric Aura and a uh, uh, Ensnare Aura right there on the ledge, and then we are going to drop a Poison Trap right in front. And then we'll throw a Reflect Beam across, just one DU on the Reflect. And then just for safety's sake, we're going to put a 2 DU blocking field right here, just to buy a little time, just in case things go poorly. Uh, we're all done with that core as well now. I did forget the upgrades though, didn't I? Let's uh, see if we can't get our wispiness all upgraded up. And uh, let's see here. 
Oh, I did get them upgraded. Never mind then. So uh, let's head on over and do the inside. Now we're going to go with a double electric aura, a front side and a back side. And that's just going to ease the tension a little bit on this main core uh, with all of the mobs pushing in from random directions. So we're going to go two electric auras uh, like so. We're going to go with an ensnare aura right in the middle. And then you guessed it. Time to get wispy. So let's go ahead and drop our roots just as close to the core as we can get it. And here we're actually going to go eight wisps. So a little bit fatter on the wisps here, but of course we have lots of area to protect. Now, another thing here is there's been another important change from the PTR, and that is when the boss is in the mode to come in to the bait that you've set, you are going to have your defenses hitting it and these defenses are gonna hit this boss like a truck an absolute truck uh that's why we're gonna put the eight wisps right here to get this area a little bit fatter uh we got 10 du left so let's of course go with a uh, gas trap in the back let's get another gas trap in the front i'm gonna snag that one right on the side of that buff beam and then we've got four more du so with the four du we're going to go one reflect beam like so. We're going to go with a 2D reflect beam uh, all the way across the front. And then a 1D reflect beam to spend out the remainder of our juice here. Now, as I mentioned, oh yeah, we playing on the rogue, y'all. Um, I don't have a, a good weapon yet. I'm using this one, this fused wolf's mane sniper. And it's getting the job done. It's definitely not glorious, but it is uh, sufficient, no doubt. Now we want to go ahead and throw, uh, let's just drop this one all the way up to full ups. And then we will dump the remaining mana kind of evenly into these wisps right here. Now playing the rogue, of course, we've got stealth, which are going to make the Dark Elf Warriors just not as much of a problem. We're still going to want to go through and kill all of the portals, so... We're going to be on portal duty. Uh, if we do get pressed at all by a Dark Elf Warrior, we're just going to stealth. And uh, that is going to get the job done for us. Uh, just going around and smoking all of these portals. Uh, the Wisps are getting the job done. They are clearing house. They're hitting like a truck. And they are wonderful, glorious, and beautiful all combined. And I am absolutely adoring these Wisps. There's just no doubt. They're just beast mode beyond belief. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this portal down as well. We'll wreck that one up. Looks like we had a copter come a little closer than normal, but uh, we'll get a little bit of love into that guy. And then just continue to run around the map and uh, deal with portals and just watch for lanes getting pushed. Now, when all of these wisps get sidetracked onto the boss during bait mode, when the boss is put coming in, you are going to get pushes on these lanes. So with that in mind, we are going to want to throw a couple of upgrades into our Rs here, these electric Rs. Let's give them a little bit more power and let them clear out some of the trash mobs that are going to push in heavy as we're fighting the boss. So we're just going to prepare for this as the wave is running here. And uh, we're going to get it done, y'all. So uh, good stuff, the Wisps. Like I said, it took me a whole damn day to put the DSTs up. It's literally the hardest change you need to make to adapt to the new content. So, wispy goodness, no doubt. Uh, let's just go ahead and skip forward because the rest of this map up into the boss is going to be doing the exact same thing I'm doing right now. Just jumping around and shooting portals. So, lots of fun. Fun. Oh my gosh, I'm having fun and I'm playing the key. Those two words did not go together yesterday, I assure you, but it is looking shiny today. Let's go ahead and jump on forward and wreck this boss. And here we go. We're counting down the final few mobs here of the wave, and um, we're just going to dump all of the mana that we're able to collect up here directly into these wisps for the biggest boss type assist. Now, the cycles on the boss basically are do damage to the boss, once the you do enough damage to the boss that the bait is going to pop, you trigger the bait. Now we're going to go for this bait. That way we can just easily avoid his slam by kiting him around the circle here. So with that bait, uh, it's, we're going to have to wait for that 15 second countdown. Now as soon as 
we're able to, we are going to go ahead and smack that boss right in his face with our wisps and with the power of the rogue here. The rogue's meaty. Uh, that is for dang sure. Let's just go ahead and stealth it out here. We're going to need to get a few more shots on him here to get down to that power threshold. And there we go. So the bait just popped. We're going to come in here. We're going to hit the bait. Here comes Mr. Lycan King. And as soon as he crosses in, you are going to see those wisps starting to put in the pain. So we're just going to keep it as long as possible, kiting them right around this area here. And then as soon as we get close, we're at four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. We're going to pop this trap. And a boss man is going to just get absolutely walloped. So... The Wisps put in the majority of the damage. Um, my Rogue, of course, is wrecking it up. So good stuff there. And there is the non-DST way, which is a thousand times easier, y'all. Drop your DSTs. Get you some Wisps, for God's sakes. Let's check out our badass shiny new weapon here, because we're going to get a good one. Where are you, oh super shiny weapon of greatness? Okay, that's not the one. No, all three stats, so not uh, as shiny as I would like to think, but, you know, not too shabby either. And we got us a uh, very nice, extremely nice Arcanist piece, so we will take that. That is for damn sure. But uh, there we go, y'all. Get your wisps going and make life better. That will do it for now, though. Thanks again, and I will see you soon. Take it easy.